Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. And first off, before I start this video, I want to say sorry for any background noise that there is, but I cannot completely avoid it, I'm doing my best, but all I can do is my best as I just mentioned. So I am remaking a video that I made around almost 11 months ago, and that is how to eat one meal a day. The reason why I am remaking it is because I have way more experience from my own personal experience with one meal a day and from coaching and helping people on the one meal a day diet and just way more knowledge on this and this video is going to be way more extensive than the first how to eat one meal a day diet and I'm going to be covering what the one meal a day diet involves how long you should fast for how long you should eat for what type of diet you should be in when the best time is to train whether it's before or after eating and so much other detailed information so you can learn as much information as you possibly can on one meal a day for you to gain the greatest benefits from it short term and long term and make it the easiest that you possibly can for yourself so first off i'm going to talk about what one meal a day is and what some people also call the omad diet so the one meal a day diet is a type of intermittent fasting diet where you normally fast every single day for around 23 hours within a day and eat for around a one hour window. And it has been shown through so many different scientific studies out there that you can search up online if you want to look into them. The longer that you fast with your daily intermittent fast, the greater the benefits are with testosterone being increased within the body and it has been shown in males to increase anywhere from 200 to 400 percent and in females around 100 to 150 percent it makes human growth hormone production in males go anywhere up to around 2000 percent increase within the body and females around a thousand three hundred percent and then it's also getting your body to get a hormone known as glucagon to be produced within the body which is a fat burning hormone it drops insulin and improves insulin sensitivity which insulin is a fat storage hormone and it gives you a whole host of other benefits as well and any type of intermittent fasting diet is going to give you those but as I mentioned the longer that you fast daily with your daily intermittent fast the greater all of those benefits are going to be so one meal a day is going to give you the greatest benefits that you can get out of any type of daily intermittent fasting method out there and it is as simple as that but there is a lot of things that people need to know alongside what i've just mentioned to make one meal a day work the best of them so they can get the greatest benefits from it but if you're someone that wants to eat for longer than an hour window, then you can do that because there's all different types of one meal a day diets out there. But the main one people are aware of is the one where you normally fast around 23 hours and eat for around an hour window. But when I did it for around a seventh month period, I would sometimes eat for two hours or more. And obviously it's gonna vary from person to person how long you feel that you're going to need to eat for. But I was eating around three to 4,000 calories. So obviously that takes quite a long time to to eat but what I will say is the shorter that your eating window is for obvious reasons you're then going to be in a fasted state for a longer so try and make it as short as you possibly can if you want to get the greatest benefits from it and for me the reason why I'd eat longer sometimes is because I was just eating more calories so it would take longer and sometimes it was just more suitable for my lifestyle so I was trying to make it work in a way for me to actually be able to stay in it short term and long term to get the full benefits from it. So now I'm going to go on to drinks that are acceptable that will not break out of the fasted state and which ones will. So for obvious reasons, water is fine, any type of water. If you want to add some freshly squeezed lemon or lime juice to it, that's fine. I wouldn't recommend having nowhere more than a tablespoon at a time throughout the whole day in total because it could start to break out of the fasted state. Some people say BCAAs added to water are fine but there's some scientific research to say that it induces an insulin response within the body so i would not recommend that diet sodas and calorie free sodas and drinks are absolutely acceptable and they will not break you out of the fasted state black coffee and tea with no sugar added to it is completely fine you can add some sort of sweetener to it such as stevia and if you want 
salt water obviously don't use unrefined sea salt because it's just garbage it's been stripped of all the beneficial nutrients it's had aluminium added to it. it's really bad i personally use and recommend to people celtic sea salt is one of the most nutrient dense healthy salts that you can consume apple cider vinegar is really really good and for a lot of people it helps give greater benefits whilst in the fastest state and gives you even more improved weight loss benefits and it's brilliant for appetite suppression and i talk about that more in another video that i will link up above so if that interests you i highly recommend that you go and check that out now and then there is so many other different types of liquids out there but all you need to think about with any liquids that you're consuming is will it induce an insulin response within your body and is it a significant source of calories because if it comes under one of those things it's most likely going to break you out of the fasted state and i will be making a video very soon that is way more extensive where i talk about all the different things that break you out of the fasted state and which ones don't but two that i'm just going to add on which a lot of people ask me about is juices and smoothies no not at all they are a significant source of calories and they will 100% break you out of the fasted state. Next up is a very common question that a lot of people ask. What is the best food to break your daily one meal a day intermittent fast with? And I personally recommend that you try and break your fast with the most easiest to digest calorie filled food possible. It could be even a calorie filled liquid drink. And the ones that I normally recommend to people and that I use is either freshly made fruit or green juice, coconut water, fresh ripe fruit, a fruit smoothie, and that is about it. But if you're someone that doesn't eat those types of foods or liquids because you eat a ketogenic diet or some other type of diet that just doesn't allow you to consume those things, then just think about what would be the easiest to digest food to break my fast with and wake up my digestion that is suitable with the diet that you're eating and then it leads me on to the next one what is the best diet to be eating with the one meal a day diet and i am not going to say any one diet is best find a diet that works for you whether it's ketogenic paleo high carb vegan diet a high protein diet a carnivore diet and yeah listen to your body and if it's working for you and making you feel the best that you want to and giving the results that you want to and it works well with eating one meal a day, then that is the diet that is the best for you. And how many calories should you be eating? This is a very, very common question. It is gonna vary from person to person how many calories that you're wanting to be consuming. So if you're someone that wants to maximize muscle growth, which is someone like myself, then I recommend eating as many calories as you possibly can within your one meal a day eating window because obviously the more calories you eat, it's going to give you a greater benefits for increasing your muscle mass. But if you're someone that wants to optimize the weight loss benefits, then you would want to eat significantly less calories and depending upon your needs it can really vary from the amount of calories that you need and obviously how active you are how big you are how tall you are and various other factors as well so i found the calorie range could be anywhere from a thousand calories up to around five thousand calories so if you're someone who's still confused about how many calories that you need just listen to your body just eat to the point of satiation i've had some people to see how much i eat they try to eat the amount i can eat within one sitting and they tell me they cannot eat that amount but for most people, they don't need to be eating that amount of calories because they're not training as hard as me, they're not as busy as me, they haven't got a lot going on in their life. So just play around with your food and your one meal a day eating window and just eat the foods that make you feel the best and eat to the point of satiation. Don't eat to the point where you feel you're gonna throw up and you're so stuffed that you just wanna go into a food coma and pass out, that's just not good whatsoever. So for a process of elimination and being mindful or listening to your body, you can find out the amount of calories that you personally need. And I have said so many times on this channel, I do not recommend calorie counting whatsoever because I found that it is not necessary at all for people to get the benefits that they want to from one meal a day. But if you're someone that wants to count your calories, you can do that. And obviously for people that want to get the greatest weight loss benefits, you eat less calories. People that want to gain more weight, you eat more calories. So if you're eating a certain amount of calories with one meal a day and you're not getting the greatest weight loss benefits, try reducing your calorie intake by small amounts and see 
if over a period of time that you start to get greater weight loss benefits but if you're someone that wants to maximize muscle growth and weight gain then obviously eat as many calories as you possibly can and if you're not gaining weight over a period of time then start to slowly increase the amount of calories that you're eating within one sitting so now i've talked about the diet and how to do one meal a day you're probably wondering when is the best time to actually eat your one meal within a day and what i have to say it depends upon your lifestyle and when you're working and other various things that are going on in your life so for me i would normally eat my one meal a day around 5 p.m because i go to bed around 8 p.m and i like to wind down at the end of the day and it's after i've trained and it's just very suitable for my lifestyle but if you're someone that's working night shifts that's not necessarily obviously going to be suitable for you so again with this one just like the amount of calories and working out how many calories you need is just think what is suitable for your lifestyle try out some things see if it's working for you if it isn't try it at a different time so some people will eat at breakfast time some people in the middle of the day and some people at night time so it's as simple as that but what about training should you eat your one meal a day then train hours after or shortly after or should you first train earlier in the day and then eat shortly after your one meal a day or can you train really early in the morning and then eat your one meal a day later in the day and it's very very simple if it is suitable for you to train before eating i would recommend trying to train about an hour or two before you break your daily one meal a day intermittent fast and there's very good reason as to why I am saying this. There's scientific research that shows that if you combine intermittent fasting with training, that it gives you greater benefits from the intermittent fast, and the increase in those benefits lasts for around a two hour window. So if you're someone that wants to get the greatest benefits, that's what I would recommend that you do. But if you're someone that wants to work out in the morning, and that's what you normally do, it's absolutely fine to work out in the morning and then eat later in the day. It's not going to affect your gains in a negative way because scientific research has shown that intermittent fasting preserves muscle mass and you're obviously getting an increase in human growth hormone reduction and testosterone which helps with muscle recovery and muscle growth and if you're someone that wants to train after you've eaten and the food has gone down and that works for you then do that but for a lot of people that one is normally the least common option for people to choose out of the three ones that I've just mentioned because normally you're eating quite a lot of food and then your body is using so much digestive energy to digest that food so training afterwards can have a negative effect on your training and also your digestion of the food that you've eaten. And last but not least I'm going to go on to the common mistakes that I see that people do that stop them getting the full benefits of one meal a day and the number one reason is people consuming certain things such as liquids that break them out of the fastest state or even specific supplements and I did make a video quite some time ago which talks about all of the different supplements that you can take in the fastest state that will break out of the fastest state and which ones will not so if you haven't seen that video I'll put a link for it up above and the next thing is there are quite a few people that just really eat a low amount of calories within one sitting and yes it will give you great weight loss benefits but extreme calorie restriction is a recipe for disaster because what you're going to find over time your body's not going to be getting enough calories and then hunger is going to kick in and then you're just going to want to binge out and not eat one meal a day so make sure that you are eating a significant amount of calories when you eat your one meal a day and that is about it for mistakes and if you're someone that doesn't want to do this daily you don't have to do it daily but for obvious reasons if you do one meal a day every single day it's going to get you the greatest benefits that you're wanting to gain from it so that's it for this video if you have any questions for me leave them down below and i will get back to you as soon as possible if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up if you don't give us a thumbs down i don't mind and please share this video with anyone else that you think would love to hear about how they can eat one meal a day and all the information that I shared with you on this topic in this video that you've just watched. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos on one meal a day, intermittent fasting, calisthenics, workout and progression videos, what I eat and do in a day videos, weight loss videos and many other different videos to teach you the right information to go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, 
make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day so as always stay fit stay energetic and go and get those gains peace